Right, this could be interesting. I'm um, about to place my first order um, for a US stock using TradeStation and TradingView combined. Um, what I've done is I've put $1,000, um, or you know, $10 I've got taken out for bank transfer somewhere, but I put $1,000 into my TradeStation account, and then I linked my account to TradingView, um, and I'm, you know, just to basically start off with and you know, see how this all works. Um, and I've decided that I'm going to try and buy a stock called Option Care Health. The main reason I want to buy it is you can see that there's been a really big candle here. You know, the volume's, you know, got a bit of a, it's pointing up. My RSI is pointing up, which are things that I like. Um, and it's, you know, well and truly above, you know, normal sort of volumes. And it's had a nice, um, you know, left to right run from the start of April. So, um, you know, it's, it's, it's had quite a good little track record of going up. Um, if I look at the low there and I go up to the high up here, you can see it's about 150% run. And I'm hoping that it will continue, of course. But the interesting thing is in the pre-market, I can see that it might be down. And so you, you know, have to bear with me. I've, I've done this only once before as a, as a bit of a practice about you know, five minutes ago. And I counted my order because I thought I may as well make a video to show other people how I've done it, um, just in case anyone else is interested. So I think TradingView is an outstanding platform like it's my favorite platform by a long long way and um, I'm hoping that I can start ordering through it so anyway option healthcare let's see if we can place an order for it so I go down and I don't even know how to find my order thing order panel here we go um, and this is this seems to be dockable like I can't quite remember how I did it last time there yeah, there you go undock and so you can actually move this around your screen so you can put it into different places um, but I'll redock it just so it's here. Um, and what I can do is I can look at this share here and I can say it's three dollars sixty four at the moment. Well, that was when it closed the other day. And I might say if it goes up to three dollars sixty five, then I want to buy it because if it heads downwards, you know, like it's saying pre market, then you know my timing's not right. Um, and in theory, I should even wait until it gets to something like you know three dollars sixty six or something. Um, maybe just to be a little bit safer. So I might do that, in fact. So I can put in here, like what I want to do to do that is I want to put in, I, I thought I could use a stop, which is what I'd use on most other platforms um, to say if it you know, gets to this particular price, then you know, buy. Um, but there's a thing here that I can do to show the, um, the depth of market. Um, and again, I don't know quite how all this works yet, but if, of course, if anyone has any ideas, you know, let me know. You can see the sell price at the moment is three dollars eighty-two. You know, all the way up here, um, and the um, buy or the you know the you know the offer is all the way down here at three fifty-five. And so, um, I don't really know. Like pre-market in the US, you know, volume comes in and out like crazy, so the, the price is all over the place. But so I want to go back and I want to go back to my order panel, and so I'm going to put in what's called a stop limit order. And so I'm going to say, I want to buy this if it goes up to, let's say, $3.66. Um, I don't really know, you know how all these asks and things work. I just put in the $3.66, which is my absolute. Um, and I don't want to pay more than $3.70 for it. And I worked out, you know, my $990. Let's do it again. I'll go 990 divided by, let's say the worst case is $3.70 divided by 3.7. That would mean I could buy 267 stocks roughly. Um, so let's make it 260, just to be a little bit more conservative. Just so I've got some money left over in case I need brokerage or something like that. Um, and then this here is quite interesting. So I've got to take profit. I've also got a stop loss. And I never, I've never used to take profit in my life because I just like to let stocks run um, and you know see how they go. But um, on this side here, it's really interesting. So I can either cho I can choose any of these things here. So um, you know, I might say, you know, if the stock goes down to you know below the candle there, which is three fifty five, you know, I could put this in at, th uh, at three dollars fifty five. Oh, three dollars fifty five, and you can see it changes these other ones automatically. Alternatively, you know, I might say I want to have it five percent. You know, I, I tend to like to put in something like five percent below my buy price. And so that means it'll sell at $3.51. And over here on the other side, I think this is quite interesting. I might say, um, I might put in a, a take profit at 15. This is just purely to try it. Normally I like to let these stocks run as long as they can. 
but I have this suspicion that I can probably slide these up and down to change these automatically. Um, I did click on the intelligent routing before, and again, I don't know what it all means. I, I, I vaguely do know, but you know, I'm very happy just to leave it on intelligent. And time and force is basically the you know just for the day. There's a whole bunch of other ones that I didn't know, but yeah, you know, some of these timing ones are, are, are quite interesting. So I'll have to go and see if I can Google some of these. Um, the GTC basically means you know good till it closes, so you know basically leaves it running permanently. Um, so I might. Uh, what have I got? What's already selected? I think it was already David. I might just go good to close, I guess. Um, I'll leave it at that, but I said I need to work out what those other ones are. And if anyone does know, you know do please let me know. So in theory, I'm going to buy this stock if it goes up to $3.66. I'm not going to pay anything more than $3.70. Um, so if it gaps up past that, then I don't get to buy it, unfortunately. So should I make it a bit more maybe? I think I'll leave it just for now, just to see how this plays out tonight. Um, so my take profit is set, my stop loss is set, 5% is my downside and 15% is my upside. And as I said, normally I wouldn't bother about a take profit because I'd like to let them run indefinitely, but I just want to try it just to see if it works. I think I'm going to be less brave and change that back to day. And then I'm going to click buy. So 260 BIOS at $3.66 stop. I don't know that 366. Oh yeah, 366 is what I've oh, oh that was bad, something changed. What did I change? $3.66 is here. That, that should be $3.70. That moved somehow. So let's click buy. So it tells me, you know, that the bid and the ask at the moment are a bit nonsensical because of the, you know, pre you know, pre market condition. So it's saying a stop limit buy. I want to buy two hundred and sixty at three dollars sixty six, which is above the three dollars sixty four. Um, I don't want to pay more than three dollars seventy for them. Um, if it happens to go down, I want to get out at three dollars fifty one. Um, and it looks like that might be. A, I wonder if that's a market stop order. I wonder if that gets me out at market or if it only puts in a, a, a stop at three fifty one. Um, take profit at four dollars twenty-seven. So if it goes up to four dollars twenty-seven, I'm out. Currency is US. Routing is intelligent. Time enforces day. Estimated price is three dollars seventy. Okay, I think that's because this ask is three dollars eighty or something. Estimated cost is nine sixty-two. Estimated commission. Estimated money impact is for main order only. So let's go send order. And this is where it gets kind of cool. And so see over here how it's pre-populated these. I'm just going to close this so we've got more room. And if I go down to my trade station terminal, um, you can see that you know that I've got a, a working order in here. Um, so again, it's kind of interesting. Um, now, if I shrink that down, and these are a little bit jumbled just because of you know how close they all are. But if I drag, I might maximise this one. And if I drag my pricing sort of line around. I'll drag this down a bit so it distorts it of course but you can see here that it's basically saying my stop loss is going to be at this level here at the $3.51. My buy stop limit is around here at $3.66. Um, my buy stop limit, the maximum I'll pay is $3.70 so I'm going to buy it at $3.66 if it gets to that. I'm going to not pay more than $3.70. And if it gets all the way up here, I'm going to take a profit. You know, if it's if it's up 15%, I'll take a profit. And so I said, I think that's really interesting. And I'm sure that I've seen in one of the demos that I saw somewhere else um, when you know someone else was, um, well, I think it was actually Trading View when they did a video on it. Um, I think that I can physically drag these up and down. So if the price goes up a bit, I think that I can physically drag this stop loss up and down, um, and it will it will change the order in the system. So. I might do that just for fun again, just to see what happens. So if I drag that down, let's say, I don't know, $3.45. See how it's telling me here that I can modify the order? So that is quite interesting that you can do that. I like the idea that I can see these visually and I can drag and drop these, take profits and whatever else. So that's the very first order that I've tried to place on TradingView and it'll be fascinating tomorrow um, to see if the order is actually goes through or doesn't go through. But I do like the idea that if the stock heads the wrong way, 
um, then I don't enter them. I don't enter it. So I, I do think that's a very very good thing. Um, you know, I, I obviously want to trade in the direction of the stock going up, not the stock going down. And so this is my best guess at the moment. But of course, if news comes along, um, then you know it might ignore all my thoughts and um, hopes. And you know, if it, if it heads down the other way, um, then I'm kind of out of it. Um, you can see here that you know this sort of candle, the big blob down the bottom, and a long wick. You know, last time it happened, it went down. But then you look back here, and it went down. But then you know, the next couple of days, it started going back up. So you know, it might be one of those bearish type candles, but. Um, I said I'm happy to take the punt just because of the big volume that came through and you know my indicators are showing that it's in a value area um, and if I left it as a as a GTC good to close I think is what it stands for if I left it as a GTC order all it would do is it would wait until these conditions became true um, then it would buy that stock so again it's kind of like a set and forget it as long as I've got the money in the account anyway I hope that was um, semi-informative and um, as I said, it'll be fascinating to see what happens tomorrow as to um, whether the trade occurs or not. Thank you for listening. And if you have any, if you have any more info, or if you know any more about this setup, do please let me know because um, it's the first time that I've tried to trade on TradingView through one of their third parties. Thank you.